Hey guys, are you looking for an app that can handle your video editing on the fly from either your iPhone or your Windows? Well, I've got the app for you. It's called Filmora Go. And what I like about them is that they have an app for your phone as well as they have a desktop version for your computer as well. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Edie, your video and YouTube strategist, and I'm coming in with a tutorial on Filmora Go. Like what I mentioned before, Filmora actually also has a platform that you can use on either your Mac or your Windows, as well as you can have the app on your phone, whether it's a Windows or an Android phone or your iPhone. So that's what I think is so super cool about this um, particular app. So I am going to start my tutorial. So we're going to create a video. And so it's pretty simple. You just hit that big, huge plus button that says create new video. And then what it does is it immediately pulls in whatever videos that you have on your phone and then it categorizes it based on what type of video it is. So I am going to, if you see on the bottom here, iTunes or iMovie um, pictures. So I'm going to click on that and I have three videos in here. I'm going to click on the first one. And so it then pulls up the video where you can then trim this. So let's just assume that I want to make this a two minute roughly um, video. I'm going to pull this in because I know. And I normally had I some it. other. I also have voiceover on this. So I'm gonna, I think I'll start it. Do I go back to the. Okay, let's see. What do I have here? Okay, so I think I'll start there and, and then, then I have I'm going to end I'll go like 159. Right. And then I have another light that's so above I'll just stop there. So when you've gotten the clip that you want, closer. you then so you just need to click on the add button light or the right plus sign, that. and you can see <clears> it's gone over. And then this to is the, the backdrop left. choice today. And you see the number one I've been there. using this probably. So now I can find another clip if that's what I wanted to do. And let's month. say I wanna. This is a bitch to add. This is a bitch to have. This is something from the end. If I wanted to add that me. clip, but I would then give just you this hit the add button so that you can look and gorgeous. that would then send it. So anyway, over so I just wanted to, to come in well. and show you guys okay. that. So then when I will we're do a finished, video showing we now need to, to go up here to the, the next you button. Like and so here are our two clips that we have together. And then you can play it. And then I it. have another light that's Here's above the first clip. my webcam. Let me just zoom in. Or and I won't play the whole thing. And then here is the second clip. From these, but they give you this soft glow. Okay. So the next thing that we can do is we can crop if we wanted to and we can zoom in pinch um, or to drag and resize the video if we don't want to do that you just and click on cancel and then i have you can add subtitles that's if you want to and we can just hit the plus and then you can scroll here on the left and use whatever text it is that you want to use i'm actually let's see i think i should put something in here um, let's try this flash the webcam. Let me just zoom so in. So we're going to tap on here and we're going to say my, oops, my studio office. And then we'll click on OK. And so there it goes. And then let's see. What other choices do they have? They have a zoom. So we can make this a little bit bigger. And then we'll hit OK. Then we can look at the voiceover. And if I needed to do a voiceover, I could record it here. But in fact, I already have audio on here. 
So I don't need to do that. So and then I am I have going to cancel. Like that's I'm going to go over here to webcam, audio mixer. And as you can see, there's closer. three categories. So this is for the audio cam, that's on camera, the video itself. This is for any right music that. that I may want. Mm -hmm. And this is for the narration and then that this I'll add. Is the I don't want to use the audio from there anymore. So I'm just going to put uh, tap on the camera and that then removes the audio. So if I want to use um, music, then I will click OK, but I'll come back to that in a second. Let me go to some filters. They have some preset filters on here that you can scroll through and see which ones you want to use. If you want to use any of them, I don't think I want to use any, so I'm just going to click OK. And then I am going to go to overlays. And for overlays, they have some preset overlays, but I actually downloaded their Light Leaks, which comes free. Some of their overlays and elements you have to pay for, but some of them you don't. And so I am going to try, um, is that a good one? Let me see what this one looks like. So you just keep tapping on different ones until you get one that you like. So let's just assume that that's what I wanted. So we'll click on OK. And then you can see what the elements are. Again, there's five preset. So this is what an element would look like if you wanted to use that. <clears throat> we don't want to use that, so I'll cancel. And here we go with titles. There's a preset. Um, Let's see if we do that one or sketch. Sketch two. Love. So you get the point of what it looks like. So I'll cancel that. And then we can speed this up or we can slow it down. So in this instance, I actually want to speed this up a little bit. but you can also slow it down if you want it. So let's see if we did it a little slower, what that would look like, actually. And you can see that now it's, oops, now it the time, if you can see the time on there is extended to three minutes and six seconds now. So you can say, okay, if that's what you wanted to do, is there anything else? Then you have the adjust, where you can adjust your lighting, your brightness, your contrast saturations, and things of that nature. You can put on a vignette if you want, and you can strengthen it, um, adjust the strength by doing that. And so let's just do OK. And so now this is the second clip. And let's type on Manage. Just wanted to see what that was. <laughs> so let's do an overlay on this as well. And I Even think this these. was the but overlay that we they did. Give you this soft this glow also has so the audio on it. So anyway, so, so I just we have to, to come go to mixer and, show you guys. and take the audio off. And then we can click OK. Oops. OK. And OK. There we go. Now, these are the two clips. And over here on the right side, you have themes, and let's look at that. Because what themes are, is this then um, gives you an over, it's an overlay essentially. So if I wanted to use a theme, like let's say for Chaplin, it's going to give it this black and white, sort of old, filmy kind of a look. So if that's what I wanted to, to do, I could use that instead. Um, and then they have a few others. Again, I believe for the themes, you also can have access to additional themes that you can purchase from them. So I'm going to keep that on there for now because I actually like how that looks. So then for music, um, what's this? Oh, you have to download music. So we're not going to do that. So we're going to cancel. Um, let's try this again. Okay. So we're good with that. 
and I am presuming that the edit tool allows you no, nope, that's that. <clears throat> what I was looking for, actually, while I'm here, so that's the keyboard. These are the different fonts that you have. So if you needed to change the font, you can change it here. They don't have a huge library of fonts, but that's OK. I don't think that's the end of the world. And then you can adjust the color to whatever color that you want. And I'll do red. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. And then what else can we do over here? We can do transitions because we have more than one um, clip. We can do transitions and you can see here again, there are some presets. So let's look at what the choices are. Barn door, box ease, fisheye, mosaic. These are weird transitions or weird names, I should say push I like fades or dissolves okay there we go okay so that's what's there so um, it has the dissolve is there already or I could change it to a white. I think I prefer uh, do I prefer dissolve? let's try zoom nope. I think I'll stick with dissolve okay so then we Click OK. And is there anything else? I think that's it. So now obviously if we need to um, do any more editing, we need to trim, we need to do anything else like that, we can do that here, but we don't need to. So I'm just going to click on Save. Okay, when it's finished, it then will take you to the page where you can now upload it either directly to social media or you can save it to your camera roll. So at this point, you just decide whether or not you want to send it directly to YouTube or Instagram or wherever it was that you wanted to send it or you want to just save it to your camera roll. Now, I will say this. Um, for this example, I'm just going to hit save to camera roll. In order for this to become visible, I'm going to cancel out of this and then go back. You need to make sure that you go up here to where these three dots and three lines are. So that's your table of contents, if you will. And make sure that you've activated your copy files. When you download this um, app, it will come automatically with this not in the save mode or copy mode. And so see, it comes up with a notification to just let you know that it automatically comes with it not on because it's saving you storage space. So you basically have to be the one to say that you want it. And only if you say that, will you then after you've saved your video on the app, will it then allow you to save it to your camera roll or upload it to social media. If you do not have that activated, it will not give you that option once you've finished editing your project. Okay, so enjoy. Love to hear what your thoughts are. Please comment below. Definitely like this video if you enjoyed it and share it with your folks. Take care, see you later.